what is up, what is up everybody, welcome YouTube, welcome everybody back to the channel, this is Sane, um, it is currently 4.30am, uh, it is subway hours out here, but hey, you know what makes me happy is making content, and I have an idea for you guys, a uh, really cool video idea I've been thinking about a little bit recently, and let's just, I thought about doing it, so screw it, 4.30am, Vibes, sad boy hour vibes. Gonna have some soft piano playing in the background. Uh, FKJ, just piano in partnership with Calm. Okay. And hopefully, the soothing of my voice is going to keep you guys relaxed here in the sad boy hours of Saints YouTube channel. Welcome everybody. Today is going to be the ab the abilities tier list. Okay, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it like that, don't worry. Anyways, today as we're talking about abilities of Pokemon Unite. Um, I think abilities are something overlooked a lot. I know it by me personally, um, some people just don't really look at the abilities of Pokemon all the time. They're, but you know, a lot of them I feel like have some have really good, like drastic impacts on some Pokemon, while some others might not be as good. Um, but it's kind of like, yeah, good. So I don't want to talk about the abilities. I'm going to put them in rankings. Um, I have S through D tier. I've got Drastic Impact. Uh, I, th I think these abilities who are in this Drastic Impact tier just do so much for the character and like are such a big reason on why they work, why they're so good, so like that. Always useful. It's just like such a, an ability that's just always nice to have on them. Like you definitely miss it if it's gone. Um, B is going to be the same kind of thing, but I think there's just another ability that does basically the exact same thing but better. Um, C is going to be a niche ability. These these ones are just like situational, stuff like that. And then D tier is trash. Um, these abilities don't, just don't do shit. So yeah, let's talk about it. Let's get into it. We're going to go in order of Pokemon. Just like this, I guess. It's Pokedex order or whatever. Whatever. Starting with Venusaur. Alrighty, Venusaur. Uh, I'm just going to place them in a spot while I talk about them so I have them on the screen. Overgrow. When the Pokemon is at low HP, the damage it deals is increased. Damage buff. Nice. There's a lot of these low HP abilities in the game. Like a lot, a lot of them. Um, and just a damage damage buff. Nice. Yeah, that's just that's just nice. Um, but there are a lot of Pokemon that have these similar abilities who have just better increases. Like they get more than just one stat increased it's kind of interesting that it's not a stat it's more just the damage in total because like it works with sludge bomb and stuff um, so it's going to be here in the beast in the beast in the b tier uh, always useful but it's outdone there's just like all the other overgrow blaze torrent stuff like ability all, all the other low hp abilities um maybe just do it better the dinosaurs but yeah it's it's not it's not bad it's obviously like you, you notice it you notice the ability kick in all right, let's go on Charizard, Blaze. This is Charizard's Blaze. So there is like there is Blaze on Cinderace too, but it's different. So this is Charizard's Blaze. When the Pokemon is at half HP or less, here's a huge thing: half HP or less. Venusaur was was low HP. This is half HP. Half HP, half HP or less. Its critical hit rate is increased. This one is also super super useful. It just Procking, you know, I'm gonna put it now. I'm gonna put it always useful. Half HP, like, it's so easy to get to half HP, but it's like, you're still in room to fight and you just get an increased critical hit rate. Plus, it's like you're auto attacking all the time. It's just, you should be running Muscle Band and Scope Lens on Charizard, anyways, so you just have increased critical hit rate. That's just like super super good. I'm actually gonna put it back down in here because um, I just somebody has an ability that does it just straight up better than Charizard. So, but still, that's a really nice ability. Just getting a, a critical hit rate increase. I wish we knew like how much, but yeah, getting more crits means that like near the end of the fight when you're both are like kind of willing each other down, you're gonna get the you're gonna get the crits and you're gonna start doing doing more damage. Um, with your, just your basic auto attacks. So I like plays a lot. All right, Pikachu and Static. Um, yeah, let's put Pikachu here. Pikachu and Static paralyzes all opponents near the Pokemon. All opponents near the Pokemon for a short time, and the Pokemon receives damage. This ability goes on cooldown when it's triggered. 
I don't like, I mean, the cooldown's weird. I feel like the cooldown abilities are really, are really interesting. I need to see the cooldown to maybe change some things. Um, but paralyzing all opponents near you? Awesome, like that's that's always useful. I think since that's a cooldown, it's not like a drastic impact. Also, Pikachu is usually like a, a backline attacker. He's an ADC carry with range. Um, so, for the, I'm not gonna put it in drastic, but it's really good. Like, being able to paralyze all opponents near you, all of them, every single, like, all of them. Like, all five opponents can just be paralyzed at one point. Nice. That's nice. That's super, super nice. Nine tails. Snow warning. Just gonna put this here for now. <laughs> Causes snow to fall on an opposing Pokemon, dealing damage to it and decreasing its movement speed for a short time. Boosts attacks and moves, except for Aurora Veil. Sling snow, and hitting the same target with snow multiple times will freeze it for a short time. So this ability does so many things. Drastic impact, S tier, clearly. This ability is so much shit. Um, first off, the snow will fall on you if you are in a bush. So you can't really like stealth and hide from Ninetales is the only character you can do that from. And that's just thing number one. Two, it deals damage. Just, 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 just passively deals damage. Three. Decreases a movement speed of Pokemon that it is. So this Pokemon you can't hide from it. Is it, it passive? This Pokemon's passive. You can't hide from it. It deals damage to you and it slows your movement speed. Just on occasion, just like, just while it's doing its things. Just like, oh, here's that thing. Also, boosted attacks and moves, including dazzling gleam. Just gonna say that dazzling gleam. Is, is a move that does that. So all moves except for Aurora Bill. So Avalanche, Blizzard, Dazzling Gleam. And your boosted attacks, so your third about third basic attack uh, that you get from Aurora Bill. Just gonna say that. Uh, if they hit the target multiple times, you will kind of build up that snowflake and you'll freeze people. So this ability is uh, calling people out when they're hiding in a bush. It deals damage, it decreases move speed, and you also can just start freezing people. This is the best ability in the game. <laughs> probably. This is this is probably the best ability in the game. Like, like holy sh <gasps> holy crap, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely S tier. Need I say more? Cute charm. Let's talk about Wiggly Tough. Cute charm. When the Pokemon is hit by an opposing Pokemon's attack at close range, it makes the opposing Pokemon infatuated for a short time. Infatuated po opposing Pokemon become enthralled and approach the infatuating Pokemon the infatuating Pokemon against their will. The effects of this ability have a cooldown and cannot trigger on the same opposing Pokemon in quick succession. Okay, to simplify this, um, if you hit Wigglytuff, you'll get this like pink circle around you, um, and you'll get infatuated, which means that sometimes your Pokemon will just like run straight towards Wigglytuff, and you can't really control it. Like it won't be very drastic. It's, it's really not that drastic. So I'm gonna put it in niche. Like it's a really cool. It's a really cool idea of like, oh, you get, you hit them and then they're like, oh, it's gonna like pull you in, so it's like a like cool um, support role thing, but it really doesn't pull you in that much. Um, it, you kind of just like take two steps towards the Wigglytuff and then you run away, which like that can, the two steps can definitely like catch you sometimes, but it's just like, eh, eh. I feel like it's just niche. Like it has to be on support Pokemon or maybe Defender. It would be better on a defender, I guess. But yeah, I just, eh, eh, it's the most, eh. It's it's definitely something. So it's not trash, but, eh, I don't know. Not a huge fan of cute charm. I don't think it's that crazy. Guts, a champ and guts, champ champ increases the Pokemon's attack when they are afflicted by a status condition. Um, there are a lot of status conditions in this game. Burn from Charizard, burn from Cinderace, poison from Venusaur and Gengar, uh, shocked, frozen, I guess you can't really do anything about that. Uh, sleep, I guess you can't really do anything about that. But, um, Gengar, Charizard, Cinderace, Gengar and Cinderace in particular just being really strong, popular characters, um, just getting a straight up attack boost when you're fighting those characters. Um... That's pretty nice, but I'm going to put it in niche. 
Um, because it's only a couple characters that it works in. It's like, Guts, you're not doing anything against Gardevoir. You're not doing anything even against, like, Pikachu who's deading you. Like, you're... You're... You get the attack up, but you're not... A, but you're afflicted by it. And, like, when you're stunned... When you're afflicted by stun, you, you can't move. Same thing with sleep. It's just like, yeah. The stuff you're not going to be able to move. So it's only, like, a couple. Like, three or four Pokemon. Four. Gengar, Charizard, Cinderace, and Venusaur. You're just stronger against. Like, they hit you, and you're just like, okay, now I'm just going to beat this sh out of you even harder. And it's just, yeah, it's niche. It's definitely niche. Like, good. Attack boost. Yay. Like, attack boost. Very nice. Yes, yes, absolutely. I am going to take these. I'm gonna, I'm gonna order these, but yeah. Niche, niche ability. Um, let's get into this crazy one. Oblivious. When the Pokemon receives damage with, when the Pokemon receives damage, the HP loss is gradual. When damaging an opposing Pokemon with a move, so Surf, Scald, um, something like that, the Pokemon nullifies some of its pending damage. Before it takes the effect, before it takes effect, and it also decreases the opposing Pokemon's special defense for a short time. But this thing just is stupid. This thing, yeah, this thing, this is, this is this is an S tier ability. Um, you, so your HP loss is just like slowed down. First off, your HP loss is slowed down, um, and when you start attacking back, you just forget that you're taking damage. It's just, you just forget you're taking damage for a while. Um, and then you also will just decrease the opponent's special defense. Just cut. So, enemy hits you, you f you attack back, you then stop taking damage and also lower the special defense and then take the damage like after the fight's done. But by then you're also like healing. Because you have like Shell Bell. Or then you go score and you like heal it back, or you just have Eligaz there and just like what? <laughs> like this shit, this is so much. These S tier abilities, they just do so much. Like this is outrageous ability, outrageous ability. Levitate. When Pokemon is not in combat, the movement speed is increased. You have a Float Stone on passively. That is always useful. Just fast rotations. I mean, it's not the most amazing ability ever. So I'm gonna keep it down here in the eight, in the below lower half of a tier. I'm gonna say, but it's just like cool. Now I don't need to run Floatstone. Like like Gengar is a, a jungler who just does not need to work to use Floatstone because just oh, I'm not in combat now. It's the same thing as Floatstone. Now I move, now I just move fast. Cool. All right, mime. Filter reduces damage received by the Pokemon for a short time after it uses a move. So you put up Barrier, you put up Confusion, Guard Swap, Psychic, and you just start reducing your damage. Taken. Um, imagine this thing on a Pokemon with stupid local. <laughs> imagine Filter on Gengar. Imagine Filter on Gengar, holy sh he just reduces damage when he uses the hex? Holy shoot. Thank god they didn't give Gengar a filter. Ooh. Yeah, this ability is amazing. Like, it's outdone by, by Oblivious. It's definitely outdone by Oblivious. It's basically like a slightly worse Oblivious, but it's also a little different, so I don't know if I want to put it B or A. I I think I'll put it A tier. I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna leave it here. Let's do that. Let's, let's let, I like that. All right. Snorlax Gluttony increases the effects gained from eating berries. Um, so when you go back and you eat a citrus berry, you heal more, and when you grab a slack berry, you move a little faster. I think. Um, he's not in the jungle, so he's never gonna touch a slack berry, and. Getting a citrus berry is good, but getting healed more from it compared to other things, I don't know. This is a weird ability. I want to say it's one of these two. It's somewhere here. C or D. Um, it's not crazy. It is not a crazy ability. Like It's not super impressive in any way at all. 
But it's not bad. I mean, just healing more. Like, cool. Like, you, when you go back to grab your fairy. Cool. But then your goal, when your goals are destroyed, the berries are gone. So, yeah, I'm gonna put in trash. This thing doesn't really do much. Yeah, I'm okay with trash. Synchronize. Gardevoir. Gardevoir, Gardevoir. Uh, I guess Gardevoir goes here. Gardevoir. Synchronize. When an opponent inflicts decreased movement speed or a damage over time condition on the Pokemon, the same is inflicted on that Pokemon's ability goes on cooldown after it's triggered. If it didn't have cooldown, man, oh. If it just didn't have cooldown, it would be A2. I'm just going to put it down here. Uh, so, I think it's worse than Static, because Static will just stun you whenever you take damage. So it doesn't even matter if the person's trying to inflict you with stuff or not. And you also hit just all of them huge range of Pokemon. Um, also, they both have cooldown. Synchronize, uh, synchro yeah, Synchronize only gets to the, uh, only affects the one Pokemon who is attacking you and, and inflicting stuff on you. And it's also just niche. So it's kind of like Guts. I'd say it's a better Guts and a worse static. Um, like it's good against Pokemon that are going to decrease your move speed. So like, um, Ninetales, really good against Ninetales. Uh, damage over time stuff, so Burn and Poison. Um, Gengar. Cinderace, Charizard, Venusaur. Um, I Ninetales, Cinderace, Gengar, like, it being good against this Pokemon is great. Um, but it's... Absol Psycho Cut will slow you down. Um... There's plenty of there's plenty of different attacks and moves and stuff that'll inflict some kind of damage over time or a slowdown. Um, so it's it's useful. It's useful, but it's just outdone by static. I think I'd, I'd much rather have static of just stunning everyone around me after I've taken damage instead of having to be afflicted and only afflicting that one Pokemon back. So yeah, B tier. All right, Absol. Super luck increases the Pokemon's critical hit rate. Stupid good. I mean, it's only good. So in a way, it's niche. It's only good on a physical attacker who uses a lot of basic attacks, um, because you only get crits off of basic attacks, as far as we know. As far as far as the information that we that we've seen, uh, it's only on basic attacks. But just increased critical hit rate, awesome. Just slap a scope lens on and just it's, it's just better than blade. It's better than Charizard's blades because Charizard gets increased crit rate. Oh, he's at half HP? Absol just gets it all the time. I mean, I'm sure Charizard gets a higher crit rate, but it's still just like, just always has a high crit rate. This Pokemon just always has a high crit rate. So just slap on muscle bands, slap on scope lens. That's the only, scope lens is the only item that matters on Absol, so like, really good. Really, really good ability. Honestly, if, if Absol didn't have his crits, like, he would actually be a bad character. I mean, he's, he's not a great character right now, but he's, yeah, amazing ability. Garchomp. Rough skin. When the Pokemon is struck by a melee attack, a portion of the damage received is reflected back at the attacker. I like this one. I like this one a lot. I feel like it's always useful, honestly. just You just counter melee characters? So you counter every single speedster. Because Gengar's melee. Let's, 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 let's go on here. I just want to show you everything that's melee. Ranged. Melee. So yeah, one... Two, three, four, five, kind of, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve of the twenty-one characters. Half the characters are affected by this. Half of the characters are affected by this. Just half of the characters in the game who want to go fight you now just take more damage from fighting you. Um, yeah, that's just always useful. Just reflect damage back, and they just hit you. I mean, it's me like it's melee, but like, okay, that's half the character. That's more than half the characters in this game are melee. Junglers, like especially like Garchomp's gonna be in the jungle, and you're fighting other junglers, you just take damage back. Awesome. That's uh, that's awesome. H hell yeah. Great ability. All right, let's go into Lucario with Steadfast. When the Pokemon is at low HP, it is granted a shield, and its movement speed is increased. It gets a shield, dude. I don't know what to say. It gets to low HP, and then it just gets the shield. 
and you slap focus band on it, so then it starts healing itself. So you get the shield, and then it starts healing itself. And you can use your buddy barrier with an old or something, and you get another shield. <laughs> you don't even need buddy. You just get a shield. You're just like, hey, I'm gonna get a shield. Oh, and also I move faster, so I can run away. I can catch you. It's not drastic impact. Like Lucario wouldn't be bad without it, but this is an amazing ability. This is the this is probably the best like guts ability, or the best like um, suffering ability, I guess. Um, okay, let's kind of order these a little bit. Meditate. Um, getting a shield, I think, is better than I really like Pikachu's ability. Reduce damage is awesome. I think I like this kind of order. Yeah, I like this ability. Oh, this order. We got all right. Crustle, sturdy. Every time the Pokemon loses a certain amount of HP, its defense and special defense are increased. What the hell? Oh, I'm hitting it. Oh, now he's tankier. What the? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Put focus band on this thing, dude. It's what? Are you kidding me? I'm killing you, and now you die slower. It's just another. I mean, ob it's like oblivious. It's just, oh, I now I die. Now I die slower. I guess it's outdone. I guess it's oblivious, but worse again. Kind of like this, but it's just like uh, you just start dying slower. HP, and, and then it works so well off of. Shell smash, stupid good. Uh, I'm it's an I'm gonna die slower ability. Um, I like the shield and movement speed a little bit better than increased defenses. Just cause I feel like a shield and movement speed is better as good on everyone as a universal. Well, the defenses are good on everyone, but not as universal, not as appreciated. Like it's like moving faster. The shield is better than having defenses. And and some Pokemon, so I like that. I just like this. This is a good spot. Um, I'm I'm gonna die slower abilities. Amazing. Alrighty, Greninja. When Pokemon is at half HP or less, its attack and movement speed are increased. So it's kind of like Charizard's where it procs at half HP. Um, you get a damage increase because your attack is higher, but you also get a movement sp speed increase, so it's a little bit like Lucario's. Um, I do think it's in B tier. I think it's just, is it better than, I'd say it's better than both Charizard and Venusaur's. Um, the attack buff is awesome, and the speed buff is, and the speed is increased, but I feel like just getting the shields is better than the attack buff, but yeah, it's really, really good. I think it's just slightly worse than Lucario's. Um, the fact that that half HP is a big deal, though, while Lucario's is at low HP, uh, but again, just the shield. I feel like the shield is better than getting attack, but it's nice. Alright, Talonflame. When the Pokemon is at high HP, the, its movement speed is increased. I have to know what high HP means. And I'm going to be honest, as a jungler, as a super squishy jungler, I don't think this is very good on Talonflame. Because Talonflame takes a lot of damage from, like, Ludicolo and Pokemon, honestly. No, like, it's not going to be, like, at half health or something, but it's not going to hit very hard. Kind of after you're jungling, now you just don't have your movement speed increase. You have to be at high HP. He's also just super squishy. Like, he gets hit by one move, and now he just doesn't move as fast. I guess he moves normal speed now. It's just so much worse than, than um, Levitate, honestly, where you just get movement speed when you're out of combat, no matter how good your HP is. Um... I mean, just being at high HP is nice. You can, like, use it in combat. I don't know. Some, sometimes when I talk about it, I think it's good, but also not that good. Movement speed increase is useful, so I'm not going to put it in trash. I'm not going to put it in trash. I think I'll put it in niche. But it's, it's basically always useful. I'll, I'll leave it up here in the always useful category. Um, just worse than Gengar's. I guess movement speed is better than Synchronize. Yeah, high HP. Is it really this good? I don't know. This one's tricky for me. This one is tricky for me. I have to really, like, see what the high HP, what high HP means. 
like is that 75 HP and higher? 75% of HP and higher? Um, cause that's a big deal. Is it like you have to be above 90% HP? Is that what that means? Um, who knows? I mean, is it go all the way down to 50%? You're at 60% HP. Is that still is that still high HP? Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. It is a little tricky, but movement speed that you could use while in combat, as like, especially as a die a Pokemon who can just dive and go to the back line. Um, it's good, so I'll put it here in the B as well. I think it's maybe a little worse than Gengar's. Maybe it's better. It could be better. Like this is this is what I'm shaky on, but I'm gonna leave it down here. Alrighty, Zara or Volt Absorb. This Pokemon gains an electric charge whenever it receives damage, converting a portion of that damage into additional attack. You hit me, I get strong. I don't want to say drastic impact, but that's amazing. This is better than any... This is better than any suffering ability there is, because... Whenever it receives... The, you hit this thing once and it gets stronger. He just super saiyans it. He just like he just saiyans it. He just like hit me, I'm stronger. Whatever kills me, what doesn't kill me makes me stronger. That's really what this is. But it doesn't have to be a low HP to proc it. And it stacks. Dumb, dumb. Always useful. Always useful. Oh, you hit me. Now I'm just stronger now. Amazing. All right, let's get into Cinderace. This is the other contender for the best ability in the game. Let's just let's just talk about it. This does so much. Okay, Cinderace's Blaze. When the Pokemon uses a move, Faint, Blaze Kick, uh, Power Ball, or Flame Charge. Those are the moves. Yeah. When the Pokemon uses a move, its basic attack, its next basic attack becomes a boosted attack. You do more damage after using moves. One, one. You do more damage after using a move because you're getting a boost attack, so damage increase. Two, when the Pokemon hits an opposing Pokemon with a basic attack or a move, a Cinder is placed on that opposing Pokemon. Attacking a Cinder opposing Pokemon a certain number of times will cause the Cinder to flare, dealing damage over time. Damage over time by just hitting people. Damage increase, damage over time by hitting people. When the Pokemon with this ability is at hat, and there's number three. This Pokemon with the ability is at half HP or less. Its critical hit rate and and basic attack speed are increased for a short time. So it's Charizard's ability that has a lot of Nine Tails effects going on, and it also gets a faster attack speed. How is this not? This might be better than Ninetales, dude. It could be better. It's the only one I could think that could be that could actually be better than Ninetales. This ability is so much, dude. This ability is like the most. This is the most white privilege ability in the game. <laughs> You're just gonna do like seven things. You should do like five things. Like him and Cinderace and Ninetales just gonna do like five different things with their abilities. Well, poor little Charizard over here just gets a critical hit increase. And he's like, thanks. Stupid ability. Eligaz, cotton down. Damages an opponent. Dam damages an opponent. Damages an opponent and increases its movement speed for a short time after the Pokemon with this ability receives a certain amount of damage. When that happens, the Pokemon will. The Pokemon also recovers HP and its movement speed is increased for a short time. Dude, what is this stupid ability? You hit me? I slow you down, I heal myself, and I move faster. What? You hit me, I heal, slow down your movement speed, and I also speed myself up? What? What? Like, what in the white privilege? <laughs> I keep making that joke, okay? Maybe I should stop that joke. But dude, are you serious? You're doing so much. You hit me, I die slower, I move fast, you move slow. Shouldn't hit me. You shouldn't hit me. 
I don't know what to say, man. Stupid ability. Cramorant. Gold missile. When the Pokemon uses a certain move. When Pokemon uses certain moves, it catches some form of prey in its mouth. Afterwards, when the Pokemon receives damage, it spits the prey out as a counterattack to an opposing Pokemon. The type of prey. <sighs> Sorry, the PS for music. The type of prey and effect differ based on the user's remaining HP. Either you get a fish or you get a Pikachu. Um, the fish will just like bounce. Both both will bounce. Um, the fish will kind of just do damage, and Pikachu will kind of do like a super mini stun. And they will bounce and ricochet off people, so. Um, when it uses certain moves, it catches prey in its mouth. So, when it has prey in its mouth, that's its boosted attack. And the moves are surf and dive. So when you use your surf or dive, which is move one, um, whirlpool, surf or dive. Yeah, when you use the water type moves, you basically get your boosted attack back. When you boost the attack, ricochets off people, does more damage. Um, it would do that low HP, it'll just start stunning people. Um, when you have prey in your mouth, so when you have that boosted attack ready, uh, if someone hits you, you would just attack it back on reaction. This is rough skin, but better. In my opinion. In my opinion, this is just straight up better than rough skin. Uh, like, this is just straight up better than rough skin. I was thinking of putting this in ST originally, but I feel like it doesn't do... It's not a drastic impact, but it definitely changes the way you have to approach fighting a Cramorant, because you have to understand that when you hit him, he's gonna attack at, He's gonna attack back at you. Just, like, basically always, almost always, he's gonna attack. We're gonna be able to just hit you again, hit you back. So maybe I'll put it S tier? Yeah, I will put it S tier, because it does change, this ability does change how you approach Cramorant, and you can't, you can't fight Cramorant like you can fight any other character. Because it's just going to attack you back. Like, Garchomp kind of has the same effect. But, it's different. Like, if you're only on the, you don't have to worry about that if you're melee. But Cramorant just does it naturally. I don't know if it's better than Super Luck. Maybe Super Luck could go down here. But Super Luck has a drastic impact on Absol. That's what I'm going to put there. Um... It's just a part of this this category right here is you hit me, you you pay you have to you pay for hitting me, and I think that's a huge deal. Now that I think about it too, I like Pikachu's a lot, but it has a cool. The only reason I don't like it that much is because it has a cooldown. Maybe I'll put zeros above it too. I like some, but stunning everybody. Uh, T fight Yasuke. I like this. All right, I think this is the ability tier list. I like this all. Um, I'm gonna say Nine Tails probably has the best ability in the game. Um, Cinderace. How many Pokemon? Are? Six Pokemon in the S tier, seven in the A tier, five in the B tier, two in the C tier, and one in the D tier. I was actually expecting more to be down here. Um, when just like thinking about it without like reading abilities and stuff. Yeah, honestly, there's a lot of really impressive abilities. Like I think all of the ones. Even in B tier, like all these abilities are good. I'd say maybe not Gardevoir. Maybe I could put Gardevoirs down. I will. I'll move Gardevoirs down. Um, just because it depends on what Pokemon you're attack, what Pokemon you're fighting. Like if you're fighting a Pokemon that just doesn't stat, doesn't status condition, doesn't damage over time or slow you, um, then it just doesn't do anything. So I'll put it here in niche. This Cramorant looks so goofy. Um, I can maybe move Wigglytuff up. Let's read. Final touch. Let's read Wigglytuff one more time. Yeah, I guess... There's nothing... There's no one that does, has an ability that's similar. So I don't want to put it in useful but outdone. Because it's really not that useful. So I'll keep it here in niche. I'll keep it at the top of niche. And then this being... Yeah, I don't, I don't like this ability, because berries are just, just not always there, so. For most of the game, actually, if things go, like, unless you're just, like, dominating your base, never goes down, you don't have berries. So, yeah, bad ability. Alrighty, guys, that's the list. I like this list a lot.
Um, let me know. In, let me know what you think about some of these abilities. Let me know if you didn't actually know about some of these abilities before this video. Uh, what your favorite ability is in the game? If there's any that have just like stumped you so hard that you don't know how to deal with and stuff. And yeah, hope you guys like this kind of content. Hope you like this this kind of fun, funky, s interesting idea of a video. And yeah, it is sad boy hours, everybody. If you're feeling sad, watch my content. Watch me be goofy. Uh, it'll cheer you up, guaranteed. So, catch you on the flip side. Don't know why I said that. This is Saint signing off, everybody. Have a good night.